We've got our two really big crawfish traps. We're gonna place them inside the pipe. There we go. Dude, that's perfect. Look at this, this is all crawfish, guys. What is up, VFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today, as you can tell, we're at the Tiny Creek, but usually we're over on that side and we walk through the tunnel to get over there and that's where we're filming all of our videos. But today we're switching it up. We're gonna be doing some fish traps over in this side and see if there's anything cool over here. Now, obviously we got this tunnel down here and there's tons of crawfish in there. So today we're gonna make some crawfish traps and we're gonna place them inside that pipe and wait a few days or whatever. And we're just gonna keep them in there. It'll just be another thing to hopefully catch some crawfish in. We also bought another fish trap that we're gonna set in here and bait with hot dogs this time and see if we can get some crawfish that way. We've never tried to catch crawfish in here really on this side, so maybe there's a lot more on this side. So right now we're gonna show you guys how you can make these pipe traps at your house on your own. It's really simple. And then we're gonna come back here and put them inside the tunnel. Hopefully they catch a lot of crawfish. So first step to making these crawfish traps, guys, you need some sort of netting to block off one end and uh, some scissors, zip ties, and obviously your PVC pipes or traps or whatever you want. You need to make the uh, zip ties long enough to fit around the pipe. So we're just connecting two. Depending on how big your pipe is. Yeah, some of them small, are small. If it's small, you only need one, but ours is big, so we need two. Just lay it over the top. Just like that. Perfecto. Put your zip ties around it. There you know you how to, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Nice and tight. You just tighten it. There you go. Easy as that. All right, we got the blue one done now. We need the red one and we're all set. We're gonna head to the creek and see if we can catch some crawfish. And tighten. Simple as that, guys. Super simple. Perfect. Look at that. So basically, when these traps are in the water, we're gonna lift it up from this side and tilt it up and all the water will come gushing out from this end and then only the crawfish will be left and we can obviously, you know, they're trapped in there and then we can catch them. All right, guys, we're gonna get two at a time right now. We got these two big ones. These things are huge, and obviously we got the netting on the bottom so that the crawfish can't get out and the water can get out. It's a really, really good mechanism. Woo. Woo. How am I getting down from here? All right, dude, we're in. Here we go. We're walking in. We got a spotlight so we can see if there's anything crazy. Let's set one right here. We're here behind this. Yeah, put the net on that side. There we go, that's not going anywhere. All right, I think that's pretty good, right? Where do you think the right one should go? Maybe move it down more? All right, yeah. Oh, where'd he go? I think I just saw a crawfish. Where? I don't know, he just swam under that rock. So we got the rocks covering it. All the crawfish, they go to the structure, all the rocks, and they're gonna see this pipe, and they're gonna crawl right in, I guarantee it. We're gonna come back in maybe like a week or something like that and make another video checking these awesome traps that we're placing here today. We also got some bottles too that the crawfish might go into. I mean, there might be one in this one. <laughs> yeah, it's just sand. So yeah, we got all these cans. Actually, we we uh, caught a crawfish in one of these cans the other day. So I mean, I guess we'll leave them in here. It's just more places for these crawfish to go. We got like bottles like this. The hole's easily big enough for like a crawfish, like a little baby to go in. Nothing's in there now. Oh, look, look, look. Dude, he got away. He's right here. Are you serious? He's right there. Oh, I see him, I see him. Oh, I can't get him. Anything with holes, they'll they'll go into it. It's like they love structure, they love going under rocks, they love going inside pipes. Is that him right there? Right there. Dude, that oh. is him. I thought I saw him. <laughs> Dude, how did he get over right there, here? Right there, Hold right this. Ah! That is so cool. You want to put him in the, tr the, in the trap? Nah, I'll keep him next to it. Wait, let me see. I don't want to put him in. I want to put him in it. Make Look. it his little home. Maybe he'll lure in other ones. We've also placed here today, earlier, um, these white pipes, and we've got them placed perfectly. Now, we have never checked in here where all these rocks are, but I guarantee you that's where all the crawfish are because they love rocks. All right, here we go. We got the two other pipes. These are a lot smaller. They don't have the uh, netting on the end um, just because they're so small and we want more openings for the crawfish to go in. There we go. Look at that. That's perfect. It actually looks so cool. <laughs> what about this? I kind of want to put this one like right here. Yeah, it's like a perfect. Uh, just a little more. Yeah, that's perfect that's good, right there. Good, yeah. Hopefully these traps work good, guys. They're in a perfect place right now. As you can see, this is like the perfect area for crawfish. It's literally crawfish heaven. All right, guys, so now we got our fish trap right here. Check it out. This is a brand new one. I just bought it. It's a little smaller than the last one, but the cool thing about this is you can unzip it and you can see everything inside of it. You can see from the top, so it's a lot better. I got some hot dogs right now. 
We're just gonna chum them in there. We got some bread in there. One of you guys commented in my recent videos that I should use hot dogs for chum for like crawfish. So I'm trying it out. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, we'll see. Oh, that's perfect. That looks cool. Maybe I should put it closer to the bank. So all the, cause usually guys, we would net this algae and we would catch crawfish like every net, like multiple crawfish. So they do like hiding in the weeds. There we go. Dude, that's perfect. I love this, all right. We're gonna wait like two or three hours. We're gonna come back. Hopefully we get some crawfish, guys. Are you excited? Hit the like button down there if you think we're gonna catch some crawfish. All right, guys, so it's been like a couple hours since we placed the uh, the net trap here. As you can see behind me, someone's trying to kick me out here uh, from this canal. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the trap now. Hopefully we got something. We're trying to get these, um, they're, they're not snakes. Baby alligators. But they have like, um, sort of wings like dragonflies and they have like really sharp teeth and at the top they have this huge um mane full of like hairs and uh they have i think six legs on the back say alligator i think it might be an alligator or some, something like that we we eat them um our dogs they're good eating since they have so many legs it's kind of like frog legs they have so many that they're pretty big like Close to six feet sometimes. Oh, hey. dude, we do. We got some. We got some. Oh my god. I see a few crawling around. Oh. Oh my god, dude. We actually got it. Dude, we got so many. Okay, here, grab this, grab this. With this trap, all we need to do is unzip this. Oh, there's one right off the zipper. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Dude, no freaking way. Do you see how many we got? Okay, wait till you see this. <laughs> I actually don't even know how this is possible. Hold on. You ready? Come here. Holy crap. Oh, dude, dude. Oh, one's, one's trying to get away. <laughs> here, put him back. Ah. He's not escaping. I, dude, look at this. This is all crawfish, guys. I don't know if you can tell. We're going to empty out uh, all the crawfish in a bucket so we can see how many we got. But I think we got close to 50, maybe. Let's take the fish out. Right we got right. a few fish. Yeah, let's throw the fish out so they don't. They're not out of the water too long. Get some water in there. All right, guys, this is actually nuts. I never thought we would catch this many. Oh, one's getting away. Nope, not today. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. This is all crawfish. Oh my god. Oh. This is so hard. Oh, there we go. There we go. Are we getting them? We got a lot in already. Oh no, one more. Up. One more big one right here. I'm gonna have to check it. Oh, look at that. Jeez, okay, here, you check those. Oh my God. Dude, that's the most crawfish I've ever seen. We got hot dogs. We're gonna get rid of all the chum as much as we can, some bread. All right, anyways, look at this. That's all crawfish in there. Like, I, I think we got close to 50 maybe, I don't know. Holy cow. Like, I'm just gonna grab a handful for you guys, ready? Right? Hopefully they don't pinch me. Look at this, like, oh my God, there's big ones. Holy crap, look at the size of some of those. Some. Some of them have eggs, I see. It's a handful. This is insane. Look at that, guys. That is nuts. Oh, they're just crawling on me. Don't pinch me, buddy. Please don't pinch me. This is so insane, guys. I never thought that this canal on this side would have so many. Usually we go on the other side and we catch a few in the pipes, but I don't know. Maybe this crawfish trap with the hot dogs really works because we caught Probably more than 50, honestly, if I'm being honest, probably more than 50. We have nowhere to put them right now, so this is what I'm gonna ask you guys. Do you wanna see a crawfish pond when I move into my new house or like a big crawfish tank or something like that? Something like a pool in the ground, um, light colored, like a blue pond, pond or something like that so you can see all the crawfish. I think that'd be pretty cool. But take a good look at that. I mean, I'm gonna get some of the big ones. Look at this guy, oh my God. Oh, he's pinching me, he's pinching me. I don't want that to happen. But this is crazy, guys. Okay, we're just gonna, Yo, you want to dump them in here where all of our traps are so they can find their way in there one day? It's a safe spot for them, yeah. Yeah, all these rocks. I think they would like that better than this. I mean, it's all the same stuff, really. We're going to grab some handfuls and load them into this place. All right, guys. Ready for your new home? Look at Dude. that. This is so cool, guys. Comment down below how many... Oh, one's pinching me. Comment down below how many you think we caught in here, like a guess. And obviously, I don't know, so, I mean, it's just guesses, guys, just guess. What do you think? Here, get close, get close. Look at them. What's up, guys? Oh my God, they're gonna love this. All the rocks. Get off of me. <laughs>
pinching me. One's pinching me. Look at that. He's got me good. <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm trying to let you go. Let go. Let go. Okay. Put some over here. Spread them out a little bit. Puffers are very territorial, so I want to make sure that they have enough hiding spots for each one of them. And I think they do. All these rocks, crevices, pipes, they definitely got enough room so that they're not fighting each other. We'll let him go here, too. Guys, we're starting an amazing crawfish ecosystem here. I think that there's thousands in these rocks. So once we get our crawfish pond, we're gonna come here and we're gonna load up on them, guys. It's gonna be insane, they're gonna be our craw army. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe down below, and turn on the post notifications. And lastly, before I sign off, I wanna give a shout out to TJ Pierce. He commented on one of my recent videos where I asked you guys to name the three turtles we saved. He commented Mo, Larry, and Curly. So shout out to you. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.